Okay, today we are going to work on word form and standard form. So this first number I am going to write in word form. So enable to do that, to enable me to do that, I need to first look at the first number with the comma. So that number is seven, so it'd be seven, and I look at what family it's in. Well, I have three families here, so that must be in the million, so seven million. Then I look at this next, just three set of numbers, and I say to myself, how do I read that? The ones between the commas, and I'd read it as 15. So that's 15, and it's in the thousands family, so thousands, 15,000. And then I look at the next three between the, the commas and the decimal, and it says 203, no and, 203. because we have to save that and for our decimal. And it's the no names, it doesn't have a name of a family. And then we have after our decimal, look at what that number is and we write that like we would read it no matter where it was in the number, so it's 64. And we had to put that and now because we have the decimal, so and 64. And the four is in the thousands place. I know because I have tenths hundredths, and thousandths. So, 400,000. That's how we would read that number. Now, to write this number in standard form, being in number form, using numbers, so we have five million, so five, comma, six thousand, so in the thousands place, I know I'm going to have three numbers, but I know I want it to read 6,000. So I have to put my six here and put my zeros here. If I were to put my zeros in any other place, it would say a different number than six. And that's not what we want. Then it says 24. So again, I have three places here. I want it to say 24. I need to put it here to say 24 and put my zero here. Otherwise, it'd say 240 or something like that. I don't want that. I want 24. And means my decimal comes in. Seven hundredths. Well, I know this is the tenths place. And I know that this is the hundredths place. So that's where my seven has to go. So I need to put in a zero here. 